Now, under each of these, we're going to have two categories of people, junior and senior. Okay? We, we still don't know the exact designations of these people. They could be called managers, directors, vice presidents. But very broadly, we're going to say they're going to be junior hosts, they're going to be senior hosts. Uh, so, that, so, so there are junior and senior marketing people. The junior and senior chefs, the ju uh, well, call center is only one kind of people, let's say, and administrator only one kind of people. All right. So now, let's focus on the junior host. Let's say in January, right below each of these, you put the salary, and right next to these numbers on a monthly basis is where you'll say how many people you want to hire. So let's say in January you're going to hire one person. In February you're going to hire one more, so you're going to have two people. March, you're not, let's say in March, you're going to hire two more people, four people. Uh, and then let's say in April, you're going to have some more people, so six. Uh, you're going to stay six sets for some time until you're going to open a new restaurant in August. So let's say immediately you're going to have 12 people. You're going to say, you're going to have 12 people every month from uh, until December. So you see what is happening here. I'm basically saying that you want to hire this is the number of these hosts who work with you, who work in your company, who work in your restaurant. January is only one person, February is two people, March there's four people, and in December there's 12 people. And let's say in the year two, in the first quarter, you uh, you add, uh, you, you want to add one more restaurant, so you're going to increase the number, you're going to have 20 people. Um, right there because you're having three restaurants and all that uh, and then right here you let's say you have 22 people somewhere here you have 30 people and in quarter four you're gonna hire 34 people that's the number of people who are working in that role in your company as a junior staff okay now similarly actually before we go to the senior staff let's see how much you're gonna pay these guys Let's say these guys are really smart, dedicated, customer-friendly kind of hosts uh, who welcome people, greet them nicely, smile at them. So we're going to pay them, let's say, uh, 30, no, 30,000 rupees per month. Okay, I'm going to go make this comma and all that so that this thing looks good. You're going to pay 30,000 rupees per month. Keep that constant. So to keep it constant, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to type the number again. I'm just going to say equal to and link to that and I'm just gonna drag this across and then for the next year we're gonna assume that you're a generous boss and you're gonna give them all a 20 percentage raise that's the formula for a 20 percentage raise the 30,000 multiplied by 1 plus 0.2 which is 1.2 yeah that the 0.2 is a 20 percent so you see watch this 36,000 number the reason we put everything into formulas is because let's say now you want to change your assumption to 25,000. Then you just see how this changes to 30,000 automatically. You don't have to do anything.